Welcome back team forever back again with another video and today I'm here with Alexis and no one no one um Nadia was supposed to be here but she could got not, wrapped up she got wrapped up in something else she could not make it but she sends her WCW much love whoever that may be yeah. but anyway it's Wednesday guys and it's time for me and Alexis to crush on some sexy eye candy. It's time for <laughs> hashtag WCW. This week, okay, just to let y'all know, this WCW thing, we do this every week, but it's not necessarily, it's not all about looks. We like these people for more than just looks. My WCW represents that very well. Even though she's a beautiful woman, I picked her for something bigger than her beauty. Now this lady has been on TV for like, oh my God, it's been like, it has been like 30 years. She's been inside the acting industry. You might know her from being everyone's favorite aunt. She's been in the news lately this year with a lot of controversy surrounding her show which she was in for the first three seasons and then on the fourth season her character got a dramatic change my wcw this week is jeanette hubbard aka aunt viv from the fresh prince of l.a i knew it dark skin aunt viv that is and the reason why she's my wcw because i feel like when she was on the fresh prince in all honesty she was like a great, great, like, she was a good character. I liked her way better than the other, the next um, Via that came on. No disrespect to her, but I feel like the character had a huge, a dramatic decline when she took over the role. Um, Jeanette Hubbard, if that's her name, if I'm saying that right, when she was on there, she had a great presence. And like when she talked, people just listened. And she had a good, defined character. She was like, she was like um, Felicia Rashad. She was like um, the Cosby Show. What's her name in the Cosby Show? What's um, the wife name? She was like her, the the mom on the Cosby Show. Like she had that like lawyer role, yeah. even though she wasn't a lawyer. He wanted to say Hillary, but that's not it. <laughs> that's the daughter. But um, Claire, Claire Huxtable. That's there what she is. was like. She was like Claire. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like when she was in, Claire never changed though. Yeah, Claire never changed. Yeah. But what I'm saying is when when Jeanette was Aunt Viv, she gave off like the same oh. type of yeah. Yeah, aura as Claire Huxtable. And then the character took a dramatic decline, in my opinion, when the other lady took over. And I just wanted to let Jeanette Hubbard know that I got her back. Because she's going through all this drama with all them people from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Even though I like all of them, if you don't know what happened, they had a reunion with all the people and she was not invited. She had to find oh, out about it on I, I social media. It. She was fired or let go from the show because of oh. all her... She was she didn't get along with some of the people. Personally, I thought she only didn't get along with Will. But apparently, she didn't get along with any of them. But in my opinion... I didn't know that. In my opinion, just like Empire, we got this girl Nia Long, Nia Long, however you say her name. She's okay. On, she's on the show. That's your tap or <laughs> on the court Wednesday. Can I? You're one to talk. <laughs> but Nia Long was on the show, and yeah, she don't get along with people, but that don't stop them from you know letting her be on the show because she's a good actress. I feel well, like since this is turning into a conversation and not just the WCW. Actually, it does kind of stop it because if you have bad vibes outside of filming, you're, it's going to transfer in front of the film. It doesn't matter how good of an actor you are. But it didn't. Did it? Mm, you, it fine. didn't. It didn't. But anyway, I, I just can see us American Hostel. I can see me and Envia now doing our own spinoff of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I'll be... Um, Philip Banks, God rest his soul, and she can have her regular role as the very well spoken, very inspirational, very iconic Aunt Viv. Hashtag WCW. Okay, well, thanks, Lorenzo, for your very long 
WCW. She's one to talk. So guys, you know me for, you know, well me and Bryson, for us, you know, our wonderful relationship and everything like that. But, I'm actually not going to give it to him this week. Again, I didn't give it to him last time either. I went to his brother, Eric. This week is also not going to you, Bryson. I just want to shout you all because I did hear that your, um, not video, but your album is finished, but you're not releasing it yet, which I understand. However, last night I was in my feelings, and you know what? I have to say it. Trap soul was not cutting it for me. I had to venture off, which means that we're having relationship problems and we need to fix that, but that's besides the point. So my, um, MCW this week is actually Russ. I don't even know if like he has a last, obviously. He has a last name, I don't know what it is. But I don't know if he's like Filipino, if he's white, if he's Filipino and white or whatever he is. He is so cute, he is so cute. And he has amazing hair. And then he just has like this, this vibe about him that's so cool but chill kinda like bad boy kind of like I just want to pour my heart out to you and express myself which I think is a nice even balance and you know him from what's the popular song that he does Russ um losing control everyone knows that song if not he'll play it for you but it's a really good song and that's actually how I discovered him and then I started listening to some of his other stuff and it kind of gives you a little bit of an Eminem vibe but it's it's new it's like updated and he's fucking oops, can I say that? he is hot guys he is oh my god so russ you know welcome to the club and my club is very exclusive as you see it's only been bryson then an off branch of bryson eric but still related back to bryson and now you so what about kalani what about kalani i'm sorry and kalani which is also I consider off branch of Bryson. It stands for Bryson. So welcome to the club. Well, Kalani, Kalani's also been in this club. Thank you very much. His club is not exclusive. My club is. And you know, lucky for you, you're not even a part of the Bryson thing. You know, you're part of your own little group. So welcome aboard. Well, so and Kalani. I can see us now. No, she's a part of Bryson. Because I discovered her through Bryson. So um, I can see me and Russ now, you know, us just chilling, you know, very cool, very laid back. And him singing to me, because he actually has a really, really nice voice. It's kind of, um, I'm trying to think of the right word. What's, um, reggae, kind of? He's kind of reggae, but kind of pop and kind of rap. So I think it's really cool to hear him do that reggae thing. So we'll just, you know, we're just chilling. He's singing me some reggae, you know, his voice, just everything about him, very seductive, very, um, I don't know, it just draws you in, it pulls you in, it makes you just want to sit there and listen to him. So I can see us now just doing, just doing that, you know, it's really vibing out to whatever. That's my. Thank you very much, Alexis, for your extremely long, as always. WCW or MCW, whatever, MCW. Oh, Bryson, just, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. I can't believe you picked someone else. Told you we're having issues. These hoes ain't loyal. We broke up temporarily. We're just, we're separated. What are you going to do? And that's it for this week's video of Hashtag. WCW. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all forms of social media for myself and. What is her name? Aunt Viv. Aunt Viv. I want to respect her and give her the right name. Um, Jeanette Hubbard. I hope that's her name. And for Alexis and. First Rhea. time occurring, Russ. Bless his sexy soul. Catch you later.